What a waste of money this is going to be. Hey, how's it going everyone and welcome back. So as you can already tell in this video, I'm going to be opening up some of the Treasure of the Ages boxes and chasing after some of those exotic ornaments. Now, I was really hesitant to buy this because I knew how much of a waste of money this is going to be and because I've just been hearing really bad things about just how pathetic the drop rates are on the items in these treasure boxes. But I honestly really do want the new ornament for No Land Beyond. Now, in case you haven't seen it, here it is, Undiscovered Country. This thing honestly looks so sick. It might be one of my favourite ornaments in the game. I especially love the bipod and the big suppressor that it adds to the weapon, as if the weapon wasn't big enough and going off the screen as it was. But yeah, I've had my eyes on this thing ever since it was first revealed during the reveal streams for the Age of Triumph. So I'm really hoping to get this thing today in these treasure boxes. This is the one item that I truly want. Any of the other ornaments are going to be a bonus. That is, if we do even get any of the ornaments. So yeah, let's do this. <sighs> Why am I doing this? I, kn I just know this is not going to be worth it at all. It's just going to be disappointment and regret. I suppose this can also serve as a way for you guys to judge whether or not you think these packages are worth buying. I mean, the answer is probably going to be no, but... Anyway, so let's get into this. I also still have my three free treasures that I get for completing the weekly featured story, Crucible, and Strike. So let's open these first. Hopefully, please, come on. I'm really worried about these. Yeah, we've got a Sparrow, whatever. The problem with these boxes is that they're also filled with tons of old stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Devourer of Moons. For Necrochasm. Alright, uh, I'm not complaining just yet. Alright, I'll take that. It's going to be very nice when I actually get my Necrochasm. As of this video, I'm currently only on the Idol and Ally step. Another Sparrow. But yeah, as I was saying, these boxes are full of stuff from previous updates as well. So... Getting the new stuff is going to be really difficult. This is all the new stuff on the right here that I want. All this stuff is just old garbage. So anyway, on to our actual purchased ones now. Here we go. Come on, give us something good. We've already got the Necrochasm one. A bloody... Is that an... E That's an emblem. Jesus Christ. And a bunch of other useless festival stuff. Oh, wait. Is that the Touch of Malice one? It is. Settled score. Okay. Honestly, I can't complain so far. Two ornaments. Two new ornaments out of the five that we've opened. Plate of Triumph. That's the new Age of Triumph armor set. I actually kind of want that because I think the armor looks kind of cool with the ornaments. Nano Hands. That's... Oh, that's Icebreaker. Ah, never mind then. I don't really care for that, to be honest. Uh, next one, Lantern Hunt, that's the festival armor, don't want that, go away. What is this one? I'm guessing something went to the Postmaster there. Let's check that out real quick. Don't want to miss anything in case we do get an ornament or something. A gr an emote and a bloody horn. God, get out of here, right? Next one. And... Oh! Yes! Dude! Undiscovered country, yes! Oh, yes! I am equipping that shit right now. Dude! Oh, oh. I, I'm legitimately happy right now that I've got this. I cannot wait to make a video on this. Wow. That is so cool. Okay, I'm going to have to look at that in-game shortly. And it only took us, like, half of our boxes. I am must be super lucky right now, or... Either I'm being super lucky right now, or people are over-exaggerating how bad the drop rates are. I'm guessing that it's just me being super lucky, because... I All I heard was bad things about these treasure boxes, and how pathetic the drop rates were and just how nobody was getting new stuff. I'm getting super lucky right now. Three new ornaments, jeez, I'm 
I'm I'm happy with this video. I'm like I don't need anything else. Anything else is just the icing on the cake right now. This I cannot believe this. Candlelight shader. I actually never got that. That was one of the shaders that was missing from the uh, Festival of the Lost. Also, I'm going to dump out some of these materials before they start overflowing. Alright, we've got five more boxes to open. Here we go. Let's see what we get. Solarize. That's a shader that I don't care about. What else can we get? Can we, can, can we continue? Oh, the Firewolf Mask. Oh, I never got that. Okay. Has our luck run out or we're going to continue to get any other ornaments? What other ornaments am I missing? Uh, there's the Lord of Wolves one. Uh, something went to the Purse Master there, I think. Oh, the Brushfire Shader. That's one of the new ones from the treasure box. Let's take a quick look at that. Let's take a gander. Oh, God. Oh, God. Never mind. So, we're on to our final box here. Let's just take a quick look at which ornaments we're missing. So we have the Tiger Shark for Dragon's Breath, which is... Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's Dragon's Breath. I just... Yeah, I don't care. Then there's Perfected Predator for Lord of Wolves. Again, don't really care. I'm not going to use Lord of Wolves. Same for the Soros Regime ornament, Basilisk's Glory. This is the one that turns it yellow or goldish yellow and black, which looks pretty cool, but I'm just not going to use Soros Regime. And then the one I do want actually is Chrono Shot. This is for Vex Mythoclast. This would be handy to have for when the Vault of Glass is the featured raid next week. So I would like that if we can get it from this box. So here we go. Let's see what we get. And nah, Desolate Greaves. Do not want that. But eh, uh, yeah, all in all, I cannot complain about that at all. That. We got some ridiculous luck there. We got the Devourer of Moons for Necrochasm, the Settled Score for the Touch of Malice, the Nano Hands, which I didn't actually have, but I'm not really too bothered about. The main thing I care about, of course, is the No Land Beyond Ornament, Undiscovered Country. I'm so, so glad I got this. So let me just take a gander at some of the other ornaments real quick in case you haven't seen them yet. Firstly is the Settled Score Ornament for Touch of Malice, and wow, okay, that actually is really bright, that's really pink. I wasn't actually too excited for this one at first, but now that I see it in game, this actually looks pretty cool. Also a little bit creepy, I'm not gonna lie, it kinda looks like flesh has just been stretched over it. Kinda looks like Oryx's quote-unquote bat wing. Here is the new ornament for Lord of Wolves called Perfected Predator. This one looks pretty sick, it sievifies the weapon. Although, I don't know why Bungie didn't decide to make a new ornament for the Queen Breaker's Burr and Drake's Promise as well. I don't know why they chose to only do one for Lord of Wolves. I would have loved a new ornament for Queen Breaker's Burr. Especially considering that's like the only one of the three prison exotics that people actually bother using. But whatever. As for the Necrochasm ornament, I can't actually preview it just yet because I don't have the new Necrochasm. I'm still working on it, so I can't preview the ornament. But I have seen screenshots of it and I can tell you that it does indeed look rather sick. Also, I just want to quickly load up a patrol because I want to check out this new No Land Beyond ornament. Damn, that looks so nice. I, I fucking love this. That looks so nice. It's so much more just like interesting to look at instead of that bland brown colour, that wooden brown. This actually looks really neat with this digital camera and the bipod on it as well as the suppressor. Look at that. I'm really happy with this. So there you have it. Now the question is, are these treasure boxes worth it? Probably not, although for me, I'm really pleased with what I got. I'm glad, you know, I got the ornaments that I wanted, as well as a bunch of extra ornaments. So, I got what I wanted, but I have a feeling that I was just super lucky in this case, because, as I said multiple times in the video earlier, lots of people were complaining, especially about these treasure boxes, and how bad the drop rates were on these ones. So, I have a feeling that I was just my case was just an anomaly 
So if you do plan on getting any of these boxes, do be cautious. Anyway, as always, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Positive ratings are greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next video.